Here we go on a Tuesday. Third hierarchy. Time is now. Let's go. The top 10 NFL teams according to college. Number 10. I'll put the Cowboys in. By the way, they're the most penalized team in the league. 27th ranked red zone offense. But Dak played well. Has an 81% completion percentage targeting C.D. Lamb. And I thought Brandon Cooks arriving was a big moment last night for Dallas. They're 10 and one following losses since the 2021 season. That's the best win percentage in the league. I thought they played really well last night. Uh, a big game win. They don't get a lot of those Cowboys at 10. Number nine. But the Bengals have Joe Burrow. They were outgained by Seattle and won. They've won three of four heading into the bye week. Hardest remaining schedule. But I like the fact that I thought they were outplayed against the Rams and the Seahawks, and yet they found a way to win both of those games. They will now get healthy. Listen, when they target Jamar Chase 10 times or more, they win. So despite having a deep receiving core, Burrow and Jamar Chase are the key. They're not a Super Bowl team, but I have them a spot ahead of the Cowboys. Number eight. The Dolphins. Their five wins have come against teams that are 5-24. and A little bit of a mirage. But they have the number one scoring offense, the number one passing offense, probably the most fun in the league to watch. They have played the easiest schedule. Their defense is just not very good. They don't get a consistent pass rush. They're a heavyweight champ with a glass chin, punch back and they fold. But Jalen Ramsey coming back, Dolphins at eight. Number seven. Listen, the Bills, they don't feel like they're buttoned up. They're not as good defensively. And they were held scoreless for three quarters against the Giants, but they won. And their two losses this season, Jags and Jets, have come in close games. I will say this, Josh Allen has cleaned up the mess in the red zone from last year where he was throwing picks this year, 11 TDs and no picks in the red zone. So what they've done situationally, they're a better team. Their defense also leads the NFL in sacks. So they get to the other quarterback, even though their quarterback sometimes, too, is pressured. I have the Bills at seven. Number six. The Jags at six. The defense leads the NFL in takeaways. Some of those draft picks now are really playing well. They're on a three-game winning streak. Did well in London. Now they come home where a lot of people thought they'd be sleepwalking, and they picked up a W. Trevor Lawrence, though, knee injury, may not play Thursday, so we'll keep the Jags deserving at number six. Number five. Philadelphia. Listen, there's a lot I like. Jalen Hurts already has more picks than last year, so he's not the same without Shane Steichen. We had predicted that. He would pull back about 20%. He's still very good and very dangerous. Their third down offense is excellent, and their fourth down sneaks The brotherly shove, you can't defend it. But I will say this, Lane Johnson now is hurt, and opposing quarterbacks, average passer rating is almost 95. Not good. If you want to beat the Burroughs, if you want to beat the Mahomes, opposing quarterbacks are having their way with this defense. Number four. I think Detroit's really good. I, I think they have better talent than Dallas. But we don't talk about them. Seven and one in their last eight games, 13 and three in their last 16. Best offensive line, as far as I can tell, in the NFL. Three and oh on the road, right? Goff can only play at home. Not anymore. This team is so good, they went on the road. Third easiest schedule remaining. Only team to hold opponents under 100 yards rushing in every game. This is not a Jared Goff's good when he's comfortable team. They go on the road and win two. I have him at four. Number three. I like Baltimore. I think think Lamar Jackson's having a season. Their defense has only allowed six touchdowns, fewest in the NFL. They have the number four scoring defense. They get after the quarterback. Uh, He leads the NFL in rushing for quarterbacks. I thought his first half against the Titans was magical. They struggle at times in the red zone. They are a little too run-centric down there. But they've run for 100-plus yards in 22 straight games. Lamar has always been better in the pocket than he's been given credit for. I think he looks spectacular this year. Baltimore at three. Number two. Kansas City, 5-0 and with Kelsey and Chris Jones. I still think their wide receiver group needs help at the trade deadline. They're winning because of reading Mahomes. Um, you know, their, their defense, only team to allow 21 points or fewer in every game. 
Mahomes is the highest graded rushing grade among all quarterbacks this season. So there's a lot to like about him. I got him at two. I think they need to add a piece. I do not think the number one team needs to add a piece. Number one. And that's the Niners. They trailed for the first time this season. They had two awful calls go against them. Uh, three huge drops. Um, kicker missed a 41-yarder or they're undefeated. That kick has made 81% of the time in the last decade. They have stars in every unit. I didn't think Brock Purdy was bad. I thought that final drive, considering the elements, no Christian McCaffrey Debo, was pretty darn good. I don't think they're missing anything like the Chiefs need another trade deadline piece on the perimeter. And there you go. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.